Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the Bugs Life action game. So today, we are on the council chamber, level 3 officially of the game, and this is going to introduce the first of the boss levels. They are basically going to be smaller versions of the first levels, or like it's a, it's a new level, but it's going to be a small level. A pretty short, and it mainly features a boss that you have to beat. So let's get started, the council chamber. Level 3, they call him Fumper. Defeat Fumper. So we get to fight the weird, um, rabbit monster grasshopper? I don't even know what the heck Fumper is supposed to be, but we get to beat him up today. Yeah! Flick's excited about that. Oh, wow. This is way brighter than I remember it being. I remember it being a dark blue. <laughs> also, this music is way more epic than it has any right to be. So this is where we came in through the tunnels, but Flick can't run away like a scared coward. He has to actually beat Thumper. The red bars at the top of the screen refer to the boss's health. In case you couldn't tell. So this is a small level, it's just one chamber. It's basically a couple of tricky jumps to get the stuff, so like you gotta jump oh, off yeah. of the top of that mushroom to get the, uh, L. That special seed grows into a propeller, so we can get the super berry. Psycho. That's why they call him Thumper. Alright, so Fumper basically has two mosquito cronies that he'll send after you, and then Fumper himself is going to stay in the center of the stage. So, hang on. So you can see that rock in the middle? That's Fumper's arena. He won't fight you until you actually touch the rock, and, but as long as you're on the rock, then he's going to try to kill you. Oh, those stupid mosquitoes. Just picking up grain here. <laughs> yeah, you know, no big deal, no problem. Yeah, this, level, this level's basically just, like, do some tricky jumps yes, off of the I mushrooms to get the flick letters, find all of the tokens, and then you can, Let's like, beat up Fumper. Okay, so it's not just limited to the rock, it's anything near the rock. Nice Fumper! <laughs> nice Fumper! <laughs> Alright, we're already up to the homing berry. This is going to be a really short level. I anticipate most of the boss fight levels are going to be pretty short. You can use the invincibility plant to kind of go near the middle and collect the grain there if you don't want to try to outrun Fumper. Which, I, I personally, I think that's a much better idea. So the last of the uh, purple tokens is actually, if we use the camera, it's on top of the giant mushroom in the middle, which requires you to jump on top of a smaller mushroom... Oh boy, Flick can slide around a bit. Oh wow, Flick looks kind of creepy when he jumps towards you. Oh, oh, oh I had it for a second! <laughs> I remember this is the toughest part of the level, is just jumping on this mushroom, staying on the mushroom for long enough to jump on the one in the middle. Oh, come on! Flick! Why does the game have to have actually kind of good physics? Is this one on the left? Like, it feels like I can't jump on this. This hitbox is really small. Uh, oh, come on! <laughs> the fact that the camera in this game is terrible does not help. I, I suppose I can lock the camera in place. But then I, that makes it difficult to jump. And it's still not locked in place! What's the point of the lock camera button if it doesn't actually lock the camera? <laughs> You've got, like, the epic choir music. Oh, yeah. yes! Cool. That gives me the gold berry that I can grow. Just picking up grain here. Oh, missing two pieces of grain. Oh, how did I miss the one over here at the beginning? Excellent. Holy cow, this music is epic, though. No, pick it up, Flick. Go in there. Um, okay, that's not what I wanted to happen. So there are only three enemies on the level. There's Fumper for one, and then his two Mosquito Cronies. 
You can damage Fumper with other berries, but you just have to land the killing blow on him with the gold berry. Also, the last letter is over there. You actually do want to get this invincibility. Let's kill you. So in order to get that, we're actually going to have to carry the seed from here over there. Which, if you're not invincible, Fumper's going to make your life real miserable. Oh! Who's a good boy? So do not, for the love of everything, do not remove that invincibility plant. It will not end well. Hi, Fumper. Fumper. Come on, Fumper. Don't be a butt. Cool. Alright. So... Oh, alright, you know what? <laughs> Take this. Single gold berry. Gold berry absolutely wrecks him. Goodbye, Fumper. <laughs> he just exploded. And we kill off Fumper like... We, well, A, we kill off Fumper. He doesn't die in the movie. And we defeat him way sooner than they do in the movie. That's me. Well, all right. 100%, yeah. Like I said, the boss levels are going to be pretty darn short. Oh, yeah! Congratulations, bonus movie clip earned! Okay. Slip, what do you have to say for yourself? Your Highness, don't you see? We could send someone to get help! <gasps> Leave the island? Now, why didn't I think of that? Oh, because it's suicide! She's right! We never leave the island! No, never leave! There's snakes and birds and bigger bugs out there! Exactly! Bigger bugs! We can find bigger bugs to come here and fight and forever rid us of Hopper and his gang. Ludicrous! Who would do a crazy thing like that? I'll volunteer. I'd be very happy to volunteer. Ah, <laughs> you got a lot of spunk, kid, but no one's gonna help a bunch of ants. At least we could try. Oh, I, I can, I can travel to the city. I can search there. Yeah, if you went, you'd be on that silly search for weeks. <laughs> Everyone's like, Flick, what do you have to say for yourself? You just killed a grasshopper. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't regret it at all. <laughs> All right, so let's save. We're back to our first folder now, yeah. Next level is the cliff side. This is where the game starts getting pretty hard. Now, we could end the video here, but I think for the boss levels, it's gonna be a perfect uh, opportunity to introduce the bonus stages. So most people will play through this game and never once even know that there are bonus stages in the game because the criteria to access the bonus stages are not mentioned anywhere and they are incredibly unintuitive. So the reason we have to go to the bonus stages is that there are three of them in the game and I believe each one gives you a different movie clip. So we're actually gonna have to go to all three of them in order to get 100%. Now, there are, a couple, there are three different ways to access the different bonus stages. All of them are pretty darn un unintuitive, but let's start off the one that mo is going to be the most likely you'll encounter. And the easiest way to access it is to go to the training level. You can do it on any level, but the training level just happens to be very convenient to do it. Yeah. Well, hello. All right, so let's clear the training as fast as possible. Now, flick. There are a lot of places to explore, but you looking good. Now, when faced with less than co Click. The world around you is alive. This Whoa! Is <laughs> I found a glitch! <laughs> I was picking up nothing. If you want to grow something new, simply chip. Now, crack open the seed, flick. <laughs> I did. I just did it so fast you couldn't keep up. You'll need to It's not my fault. First, you fill your sandal. Well Alright, so once we do this and climb up here, the enemies spawn. So to, one way to access a bonus stage, to access the first one, you need to, I believe, butt bounce five enemies in a row. I believe you are not allowed to take damage in between the enemies, and you are not allowed to kill them in another ma manner, such as the berry throw or the kick. You also may not be allowed to miss a single one. So that's five in a row. Six in a row. Seven in a row. Yeah. Eight in a row. I am not crazy. You have to butt bounce a bunch of enemies in a row without taking damage. 
and without killing them in another manner. I believe that was 9 or 10. So yeah, do, we did them in a row. We didn't take damage. We didn't do it in another way in between. So we get access to a bonus level. Yeah! As I said, very, very unintuitive on how to yeah. access these. And this is the easiest one to accidentally stumble across. Because the bump bounce is actually a pretty good method of attack. So there are a bunch of these spiders that spawn in the middle. We could kill them if we wanted, but they just keep on spawning. The real way to get out of the bonus stage is there's a movie clip hidden at the top of the stage. Now in order to get to the top of the stage, it requires some pretty precise movement. So first off, we've got to travel around. Oh, yeah. oh yes. So there's an umbrella that reaches up to the center. We need to jump on top of the umbrella. Hope that the camera works with us, and then gently walk up to the top. And you can see there was a red exclamation point there. It's like the Metal Gear, like, Dalang! exclamation point. But it's even better, because whereas in Metal Gear, you hear the Dalang sound effect, and then you die. In this, you hear the Dalang sound effect, and you get a new movie clip. Which is the real reason why everybody plays this game. You want to play this game to get as many movie clips as possible, because it's a great movie. It's actually not. It's one of the worst Pixar movies, but it's still fun, and it's definitely better than Ants, so... It's also better than B-Movie. Congratulations! Bonus movie clip awarded! Yeah! Well, that was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, there are three different bonus stages. I I can't remember if you just get only get one bonus clip from all of the bonus stages, or if like each one gives you a separate bonus uh, clip. But that's the first bonus stage. I feel like there are this, there are five boss levels in the game. I think the first boss level, the third boss level, and the fourth boss levels, I will also cover a bonus clip. Because the second boss level is actually fairly large for a boss level, and then the last one is also like a full-size level that just happens to have a boss at the end of it. So that's what we're going to plan on doing for the boss stages. We have cleared the first world! Tune in next time for the Bugs Life action game. We're going to the cliffside, and we're going to take a trip towards the city, but it's a long journey. And boy howdy, is it a tough one, and a very lengthy one. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.